just trust your instincts follow your dreams you know what i'm saying don't let nobody tell you what you're doing is wrong if you feel like it's right and you ain't hurt nobody you know what i'm saying you feeding your people and you're doing the right thing you know what i'm saying i nine times out of ten if you trust your instincts you're gonna win like you start second guessing like your first feeling on something is the one you should go with Yo, 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 it's your boy Hakeem, and you're watching Our Generation Music. And today I'm with a good friend of mine, my boy Lil Nar. How we doing today, my man? Yeah, what's good? I'm chilling. What's up? Man, this is an amazing view, low key. Just vibing. I was kind of wondering at first why you like stayed so far out the way. I'm not going to say where you're at, but this was definitely worth it. I you know what I mean? You get, you get the vibes and you get to be out the way. It's the best of both worlds. You ain't got to deal with people. I don't like dealing with that many people, so I like to be out the way. I mean, nah, I feel that this is definitely this is definitely a little hidden gem spot. Now I just for sure, just for sure, discovered. got the restaurants around here and everything. Yeah, I'm sure like at night too, it's just like it light. I'm guessing it just all lights yeah, up. Everything's lit up. It's real chill. I fuck with it. I fuck with it. Yeah, I just found a spot up like that too in Yamashiro. They have like a hotel on the side. Yeah, it's fucking fire. I sick. Yeah, cause even the hills over here is like that. Like the hill, all these cribs over there, they mm -hmm. look down. It's like a like they look down. It's almost like the Hollywood Hills. You know what I'm saying? Where they look yeah. down on the view with all the lights, it's the same thing from these hills right here. That's fire, man. Well, um, I want to talk about a bunch of things today. Your music, your business, your brand. Yeah. And just you. How you been? You haven't done an interview in the last, like, fucking two years. Yeah, it's my first interview in two years. I've been ducked off. I've been, yeah. I working, just, man. Working, really. Yeah, just working, putting shit out, but not really speaking about it too much publicly. I feel that. Um... You always post the funniest videos with you and guns. It's fucking crazy. Yeah. That RPG, I'm going to need to borrow that for the zombie apocalypse that's about to happen. For sure. Can I actually borrow that, though? Yeah, go for it. You got it. <laughs> that, shit, I, that shit in the warehouse somewhere. That shit is crazy, bro. Like, I really I really think a zombie apocalypse is going to happen soon, bro. It might. Yeah. All type of crazy shit been happening. Aliens, you, dog you, coin, all type of shit. Yeah, did you? It's crazy how we just, like came into a pandemic and now we're in a whole different new world yeah i was just talking to my girl i'm like man like imagine like we have a kid we're gonna be like man back in my day everybody didn't used to walk around with masks on ain't that crazy like we the last generation that seen people walking around with no masks like mm -hmm. i think forever everybody gonna walk around masks for the rest of ever like i don't think that shit finna stop nah 100 um, percent. even after the fucking vaccine because yeah they always did that in like i think china or japan yeah, too japan they, they still did. do they still do it no they do i went to japan a few years ago and they was all masked up like on the train and everything like been like years ago like this like years ago that's fucking crazy man um the word gnarly is big yeah big for you very important yeah how did you come across that word and like when i've been skating since i was in like middle school you know what I'm saying? i was skating and shit Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm from Atlanta. I'm from the East Side, so like skating, like it's like, boy, why you do that white boy shit? Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like that shit. Oh, yeah, I grew up yeah. skating too, so I you know. You know what I'm saying? That shit is not what it is. A lot of places in Atlanta, that, like my school, there was like maybe like two other niggas that skated. It was like me and like two other niggas, like mm -hmm. they actually went to skating and shit. So they be like, boy, why you do that white boy shit? And like, oh, he on that gnarly shit, like da da da. And that shit just kind of stuck around. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And then I got into. Uh, like graffiti a little bit and I just spray gnar everywhere and that shit just kind of stuck and I started mm. the brand and then just kind of went from there with it you know what I mean mm, okay yeah how um how much are you skating these days I skate when I can I'm really busy you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying I still love skating but like I be so busy but I skate like maybe once every two weeks once a week like I still try to get out there get active you know what I'm saying but I do be oh, busy okay. handling business handling music traveling I feel that um who's uh, like my favorite skater growing up was Terry Kennedy, Andrew Reynolds, and Dustin Dillon. Like, who was your favorite skaters and shit? Mm, TK Raw as fuck. Antoine Dixon, Raw as oh, a motherfucker. Antoine, for sure. <laughs> that nigga Nolly and Fakie is crazy, bro. I used to fuck with uh, a lot of the Baker niggas. Like, Brian Herman was hard. Yeah. Uh, this nigga named Dennis Buzinich was hard. He used to skate fast as hell. He, like, ride for Adidas. Mm-hmm. Um... I think's raw. That nigga Lucian Clark, who be fucking with Virgil and them, he's raw. Right okay, now, never heard of him. He knew. He knew. He just got a Louis shoe. They did the Louis skate shoe. Damn, with Louis. ain't that crazy, bro? He like raw, yeah. Louis Vuitton doing fucking skate shoes. Whoever, who would have ever thought? Like, right? 
Yeah, no, I think I think skate culture and clothing have always been like kind of like a like a meeting point almost. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because like skaters always kind of have some shit on, and then it'll kind of catch popular culture a little bit later. Like yeah, even like from like skinny jeans Jeez, yep. to rips in the jeans to wearing Vans. Like usually like niggas really out like skating and shit. or kind of have some shit on that kind of translates to streetwear and then goes to the masses. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it makes sense. What was like the first streetwear brand that you um, you know you Found, like what was the first one that got you into everything? First streetwear brand that really got me into shit. Mm, maybe the hundreds. Yeah, legendary. They with, they just started giving me stuff. Shout out the hundreds, man. Shout out to the hundreds. Yeah, like with the bombs on them. Yeah. Was it called the bomb boy or something? Yeah, I think so. Um, Adam Bomb. Name. Yeah, yeah, I forgot. The Some, name. Yeah, the bomb. Like the hundreds. That was the first shit I was into. I was into Supreme around the same time, but I couldn't really afford it. So like I just used to look at it. Like, that was you know, big I, I used to just look at it. I used to look at it online. <laughs> uh-huh. Like I maybe get like a camp hat when I could, one of the little hats. Mm-hmm. Or like I used to always buy. I, what I did, I always used to buy the accessories. It was cheaper, yeah. Yeah, the accessories was cheaper. So that was something that I did for my brand, Narcotic. I've always dropped a lot of accessories because I'm knowing like when I was younger, I couldn't afford all the other shit, the pieces yeah. and shit. So I've always tried to do accessories in case you ain't got the bread to fuck with other shit. You can still grab you like a ten dollar like calculator or a sharpie yeah, some or fire. some shit where you can just have a brand in hand you know what i'm saying that's dope man that's good for you to channel your inner child to give to another inner another kid tell you that's fire that um, works, huh? the first streetwear brand i was really fucking with was like babe and ice cream bbc actually ice cream yes ice cream is one of the reasons why i do everything i do the ice, ice cream skate team DVD. That was my first skate volume video. Volume one or volume two? Volume one. That was that was the first Classic. skate video I ever. There's a fucking bud that pissing me off. Fight that nigga. You see him? It's like a, it was one him. little nigga, man. <laughs> um, the ice cream skate team DVD. That was the first skate video I ever had. That was uh-huh. when I first started skating. I had that, and I'm like, damn. They doing black shit. And they skating. Yeah. Like, these niggas. Very like, inspirational. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the that's like the meeting point of like, everything I do. Like, this mm-hmm. nigga Pharrell will pull up in the Rari. Yeah. 10 chains on and then go meet his skate team and get these niggas shoes and film apart. Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. So that you shit was just like, Bring man, him to you, the studio. Yeah. I'm like, damn, you could do both. Because before that, it's just like skate videos a few years ago. It was just like, it's like white dudes in skinny jeans jumping down 20 stairs. You know yeah. what I'm saying? All bloody and shit. And that shit is fire. But it's also just like, that wasn't necessarily the shit I was on. You know what I'm saying? I love skating, but I'm like. It's just seeing it with that other side of the culture was like eye opening. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, nah, it was very eye opening for me too because I got into skating because of the white kids, and then I'm seeing fucking Terry, Jacob Waller, like his part in that is fucking yeah. insane. He was man. little. He, he was, was like a, a kid. Nigga. He was a kid in that bitch. Yeah, going crazy, murdering bro. shit. Him, they, who was in that? They had Kato. They had the one white Kevin nigga, Romar. Kevin Romar. Yeah. They had uh, Jimmy Gorecki, the white nigga out of yeah. Philly. Um, damn. I, uh. Fuck. I forgot the other niggas. Um, I remember that. I got that video, actually. I went back a couple years ago. I found, like, there was only, like, one or two copies online. Yeah, I got to get that for the crib. And I bought it. I bought the DVD on eBay a few years ago. I got to get that one for the crib for sure. Um, Do you ever, like, you know, speaking of skating, do you ever plan on dropping, like, your own skate park? People ask me to do it all the time. I don't know. I'd have to find the time to really film a whole skate park. I'd just be mm-hmm. trying to give them a little taste. I'll throw some shit on the gram. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I've seen people, like, chop up my Instagram clips and make a part online. Mm-hmm. But, like, if I get the time, I'll just say next year. I'll do it next year. Yeah. I think that'll be hard because I don't think a rapper has ever dropped a skate park, if I'm not mistaken. Niggas ain't touching me either, too. Like, I don't even, like, <laughs> keep a buck. Like, I ain't even, I don't even ever be like, oh, I don't know, but like, keep it, but like, on the board, ain't niggas touching me. So, you are the best rapper skater. Like, Bye. there's no one better than you. Facts. Who's the, who is a good competition? Like, who's good competition for Who's raw? Them? There's a bunch of raw niggas. Rich the Kid is raw. Rich is raw. My His bro. style's a little sloppy, though, to mm-hmm. me. <laughs> that I said it. You, I did it. He just he hard, but like it's not clean. It's just like feels sloppy. Like Rich is raw. He hard. He hard though. Um, Rich, I love you. <laughs> Rich is raw. Also, funny shit. A lot of my niggas, cause he from the A two, so a lot of my niggas, uh, from a, like this area in Atlanta. I'm not just gonna like say what area, but like was skating with him when he was a kid. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They like had said his nickname. I ain't gonna say that either. But they was like, yeah, like. I knew him back in the day. He used to be like in crazy raw. Like when he was a kid, mm-hmm. he was insane, but he just stopped for hella long, is what it is. That's probably where the style thing comes in. But like he was honestly as a kid, like Rich the Kid, nobody was touching the nigga. Like when he was That's a crazy. jit, he was 
crazy. Like I seen. So you grew up like, around Rich and everything? Nah, I didn't. These are like the older homies. Like he, oh, he's okay. a little bit older than me. This is like my like I know the skater niggas, and they was like, yeah, back in the day we used to skate with Rich. Like I'm talking like 15 years ago type shit. Oh, okay. like, you know what I'm saying? Um, That's crazy. Nah, he, yeah. He uh, raw. Germ is raw. My bro, Germ is raw. Yeah, Germ is fire. Yeah, Germ. I, I think um, I would give it to either you or Hobson. Yeah. Hobson's really nice too. He got crazy flat ground. I'll be hearing. I mean, he flat got ground sp- crazy. N- probably one of the best tray flips, like cleanest one I've seen out of any rapper. Yeah. He got one of the cleanest tray flips. I think I his. I don't really know too much about bro like that. To Hobson be can skate. Yeah. He can skate. No, nah, I mean I've seen the skate clip. I don't know too much other than that. I think his flat ground is crazy though, for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, for sure. No, nah, I feel that. What's what's what was like your? Like, I feel like he was talking shit on me when I was coming up or something. I feel like I seen some video where he was like bummed. Oh, I like, didn't see that. Niggas yeah. be mad territorial with the skate shit. I'm like, bro, shit ain't even that serious. Like, it's not. I'm a whole artist. I ain't out here trying to be the rapper like the fate. The fate. Yeah, I ain't trying yeah. to be a rapper skater. Like, I happen to rap and skate. Like, mm-hmm. niggas always be like, oh, I'm the best rapper skater. Like, I'm like, bro, I don't give a fuck about that shit to keep it a buck. Like, I, I just do that. both. You know what I'm saying? I ain't out here trying to be the face of it. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I feel it. Nah, I respect it. It's always good though. I, w- I definitely want to see like a uh, if the barracks or somebody can host like that and just have all. We've the- talked about it a few times. Me and the barracks, me and Steve Bear have talked about it about getting all the artists together and doing it. That would be big prime it'll, it'll, time it, shit, right? It'd be there. raw. It's just getting everybody together, and schedules and shit. It. You know, what I'm even saying? Tyler and them too. Tyler's a good skater. Earl's a good skater. Earl is raw. Earl, Earl raw. is raw. Earl is raw for sure. I've seen some Earl clips. Earl is raw. There's a lot. There's a bunch of guys, um, but. I even think a lot of uh, like you were saying, I think like, I think like a lot of the LA artists. Cause I feel like skating is some real. Phoenix can skate. Too. Phoenix, yeah, from Phoenix from Phoenix Shoreline can skate. is raw. Yeah, Phoenix. We was talking about playing skate. I think Phoenix is raw. Um, there's a bunch. There, I think there's probably like a handful. If of, I remember, I think either like Ralphie the Plug or Catchy the Great. One of them is raw too. I forgot which one. But I, I feel think like, it's Catchy. Yeah, I think it's Catchy that can skate. Um. I think it's catchy because we were outside of R.I.P. Catchy. We were outside of Joe's house and we were, um, me and Catchy and them were skating for a little bit. I think it is catchy. Yeah. The, really, a lot of the L.A. artists is fine with that shit. It's just, it's in their DNA out here, just skating everything. Yeah. But um, I want to talk to you about your uh, clothing brand. I think a lot of up and coming people that want to start, you know, brands and everything, they want some tips. Like, what's, what are some tips you have for peop- up and coming people to start a clothing brand? Up and coming brands. Trust your gut for sure. You know what I'm saying? If you got a good sense of style, that's going to help you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Trust your gut. Um, it's going to take a minute. The clothing shit is kind of a slower grind than a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? You don't really like with the music or some other shit, you can just go viral and your whole life change overnight. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? The clothing's a little bit. It's growing a business, so don't necessarily expect it to be like one day I made a shirt, the next day I'm the richest, most popular brand out. You know what I'm saying? So it's a slow grind, but it's worth it because once you built the brand, it's there for a long time. It's yeah. also different than like music or something where you can go viral and then you gone the next day. But like clothing, if you yeah. if you build a brand, you know what I'm saying? Even brands, the niggas be like, oh, that shit washed. The niggas still doing multiple millions a year. And they, they probably supplying blanks to other places and yeah, shit like Yeah, you know like what I'm saying? Like brands, money. like I ain't going to mm-hmm. name them, but brands that you'd be like, oh, they're washed. Like they was cool back they're then. They're making money still. Hella money. You know what I'm saying? So they it's have the, definitely. They have, a lot of them too, they bought certain machines and access to certain factories. So yeah. You know, you just got to be business overall smart, and I think you last long. Exactly. How is Narcotic going? Like, what are the future plans for Narcotic? It's going should- good, really, on some funny shit. A lot of niggas been like, yo, how was Corona? Like, how was doing the pandemic? I actually had my best year <laughs> sales-wise for Narcotic in 2020. I love it. Um, I got a lot of collabs on the way. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'll name some because I feel like it's close enough. I got, um, I'm collabing with Future and Free Bands. Fire. Uh, May 21st, Narcotic. Uh, X Free Bands comes out. That's hard. Yeah. How did you and Future Future link up? Um, I'm really cool with his manager. Okay. His name Ebony. I'm really cool with, with Ebony. I met him a couple times like that. No other shit. Cause I be at. He has a studio in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. And I, I've been there a bunch of times, and so I'm really cool with uh, Ebony. And then his mom actually handles the brand on some crazy shit. Wow. Yeah. That's like all the about. details for the actual for the free band shit you know what I'm saying so I was on the phone with his mom locking in the details and just they got a whole cool situation over there so that's dope you got to keep it in the family always keep the family close yeah. man I just love dealing with Atlanta artists and just people from Atlanta because I feel like it's always really really genuine mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying just dealing with people from the city did you guys ever do any music you in future not yet not it's yet coming. <laughs> I'm, I'm not I'm not rushing nothing you know what I'm saying yeah. being able to collab in any aspect with an artist I've looked up to for so long it's is amazing, a blessing yeah. to me yeah 
Well, in your hand is Narbar. Yeah. Going crazy right now. Yeah. <laughs> what, like, how did this come about? Like, what made you want to um, make anti-smoking people go crazy? <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, it's a vape, man. I don't know. Because I just, everybody was smoking, like, the puff bars and the pop mm-hmm. bars and shit. Are they, shit. like, banned or some shit now? There's, like, some weird shit that's happening. Yeah. Honestly, uh. I'm, I'm, like, not really doing it anymore because, of, like, the legalities and shit. Like, I'm stopping after, like, this month. It was just something fun to do. Like, I just wanted mm-hmm. to... I, myself, was smoking the shit out of the pops and puff, like, every day. But yeah, yeah. This is maybe, like, a year ago. I'm smoking them every day. I'm like, man, I want to make... I was like, what if I can make my own? So I was like, man, maybe I can make a higher quality product when yeah. it's out there. So I really sat down and, like, talked to a lot of manufacturers, worked through all the legal processes and shit, and came out with this. It's like, it tastes better, it works better, it's a higher quality product than what's out there. Mm-hmm. And really, was just, like... Because I just like doing cool shit, so I'm like, man... I wonder if I can do it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, it's something I use myself on the daily. Let me see if I can go ahead and make my own version. It's just a businessman in you right there, man. Yeah, I mean. They're probably going to start reselling that if you, <laughs> when you stop, yeah. they're going to probably resell it. You're going to see the fake ones in the gas stations once I stop. It's fucking crazy, it? man. Baby Kanye. Imagine, like, one goes viral or some crazy shit. Some kid, like, smokes, like, fucking 30 of them or some weird, crazy shit like that. <laughs> He like bites someone's head off. <laughs> nah, we ain't got none of that in there. <laughs> We're talking about bath salt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, I want to talk about your uh, your music too. Um, yeah. You and Lil Skies be going crazy. Yeah. You guys work really well together. Yeah. Um, what's your relationship like these days? I know you guys just dropped a song and everything. You know, I think people. I just talked to Skies maybe like an hour ago. Okay. We talk almost every day. Like that's just my bro. Like before before music actually. You knew uh-uh. him way before he's a rapper? No, nah, no, nah, he's been rapping since he was okay. a, like a child, like a baby. You know oh yeah, saying? that's true. That's he's true. He's been rapping forever, but like before I was putting out music, he hit me up. Just like he seen the brand cuz I was doing narcotic a little bit before I was putting out the music. Mhm. He was like, "Yo, the clothes is really sick." Um, this is before He's got it tatted on him, right or something? Yeah, he has a narcotic tatted on him like two or three times. He's crazy. Fire, fire. Um, he had hit me up like, "Yo, the brand is sick. Can I get some stuff?" You know what I'm saying? And I'm kind of like I'm not the nigga who's just gonna give shit to everybody. I'm kind of like, nah, you know what I'm saying? But I looked at his page and I was like, oh, he skates, that's hard. And then we just kind of talked from there. Mm-hmm. We've been cool since. And this is before this is before he even did the videos with Cole and all that and really took off. So mm-hmm. we've been cool. Um, before I was putting out music and before he really popped off. So shit really has been real genuine, you know what I mean? That's fire, man. Nah, yeah, you guys work out really well together. The fans are really wondering and asking, are you guys ever gonna drop a collab project? Have you guys worked on that? Is it already done? I can't tell you that much. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Y'all just keep dropping the singles out. They just like have we, a whole we, pro- we do have a lot of music together. That's okay. what I'll say. We got a lot of music that we've done. We work really well together. We mm-hmm. just shot that video in Atlanta. He came out to the city. We just shot a video like a month ago. You yeah. know what I'm saying? We talk every day. That's my brother. So whatever happens is going to happen. Yeah. All right, guys. Maybe. <laughs> Def- it's definitely <laughs> maybe. <laughs> um, another artist. Um, I did really enjoy the song um, with you and Uzi. Yeah. That was really hard. Big um, vert. How did you guys link up? Um, I linked with Uzi. I just hit him. I was like, yo, Uzi. And he hit me back. In the DMs? Yeah, crazy, innit? I was like, yo, Uzi. And he hit me back. And like, was it like a day or like it was like a couple hours or something? Like 10 minutes. Also crazy shit. Like you wouldn't think a nigga got like, what, 100 million followers? Like you wouldn't mm. think like, I was like, yo, Uzi. And he hit me back off top. He's like, yo, what's good? But I hit him, not for no music shit. I hit him because he had got, uh, on his birthday, he got like this Chrome Hearts Rolex, like the bust down Chrome Hearts Rolex. And it was something I was- going crazy with the jewelry. Yeah, it was like his birthday. Whenever he got the Bugatti, he had got like mad shit from Eliante. Mm-hmm. And one of them was the Chrome Heart Rolex. And that's something that I wanted. And I, was, and I just hit him like, yo, you went so crazy. Like, I was trying to get one of them. Like, you went stupid. He's like, thanks, bro. And we just was talking for there from like months, like just about bullshit. Like, we was just talking like before I ever even talked about doing a song. Cause I'd rather be cool with somebody. I'm not the nigga who's gonna like hit, we'll talk and then be like, oh shit, now that I, now that I got connected with Uzi, like, yo, let's do a song. Like, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? I talked to the nigga for damn near a year before I ever was like, and I just had this song, like, yo, I think you'd be perfect for this one. Mm-hmm. He was like, bet. And then he was like, come to Miami. So you flew out to Miami? You guys were. Rec- yeah, like, ne- next day. Up? I flew out to Miami, like, next day. Oh, um, yeah, I like it. And then that was when him and Pluto was out there doing their album. Okay, so you guys, and you already knew Pluto and stuff too, so it's kind of like. Synergy, like you guys all hung type out shit. There. I wasn't really around. I wasn't really around future when cause I just put up on Uzi out there. Okay, like okay. they wasn't staying in the same like like building. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like future had his own shit. Uzi had his own shit. You know what I'm saying? But I put up on 
on Vert, and then we did the song. We did some other shit. Like we, at the studio or in like a hotel room or something? Huge hotel room. Yeah. Like massive hotel room. He had a studio set up in there, though. That's hard. And then we did uh, on some funny shit. He hopped on Diamond Choker, but I'm on the way to his telly, and he texts me like, yo, I already finished this shit. Crazy, bro. I'm like, shit, that's crazy. So I pull up, and then we did some more shit while we was there. How many more songs did you guys cook up? Couple. Damn. That's fire. You think they'll ever see the light of day? They'll probably get them. Okay. They'll probably get them. That's hard. And then yeah. you guys shot the music video with every, and everything. How was that? That was fire. I came up with like all the, me and my videographer ideas, but like I came up with most of the ideas for that. I like to the be hands on. and everything? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I like to be hands on with all the ideas, like the mm -hmm. backdrops. I'm, I'm like, man, it's got to be bright color. They got to catch people's eye, mm -hmm. all this shit, you know? So we went out to Philly and set everything up because he was, he was back home. So we went out to Philly and like made it happen. That's dope, man. That's he was dope. cool too. That's I'll say Uzi damn near damn near the realest nigga like in the game. Like he's, the he seems like a very um, real nigga, interesting real. person, man. Real like he, nigga, he, like I feel like people got kind of the wrong image of bro. Like they'll think he like some like little fruity or something or all this shit. But nah. real nigga, like dead ass. I think he's just super comfortable in his own skin. Bro, real just, nigga, like yeah. He he a lot more street than you than you'll think. Oh no, yeah, you know he from I mean? like, he from Philly, man. Like also yeah. shit, I, when I touch down in Philly. I called him, like, yo, I'm in your city. He was like, all right, bet. He was like, where you at? This is crazy shit. So he was like, I FaceTime him, like, all right, come going out to do the video. Mm -hmm. FaceTime, like, you're, I was like, I was like, yo, I'm in your city. He was like, all right, bet. He's like, where you at? I tell him, don't tell him at. He was like, boop, just hang up in my face. <laughs> I'm like, all right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. 30 minutes go by. He called me, like, nigga, I'm outside. Come outside. Randall just pulled up to the hotel, like, like five dirt bikes. You know what I'm saying? Niggas just outside, just kicking shit. That's so far. That nigga's outside for real. Nah, I, I know. He be just driving around. Dirt bikes. It's so funny because people he always going viral his cars because everyone just sees his car and they talk take start taking videos and yeah. shit. It's fucking crazy, man. He wrote. Um, what can you tell us about, you know, speaking about your own art, your own album and everything now? Like what can you tell us about the new album? Like as far as who's producing on it, maybe some features. Uh Nar Life 2. Yeah, a lot of crazy features mm -hmm. um a lot of producers i've been working with i kind of jump around with production but like mm -hmm. there's a few producers that have like a couple joints on there like bankroll got it mm, i've been yeah. doing a lot of shit he did my shit with uzi he yeah. did my shit with trippy i was just in the studio with them last night um i really go crazy on they beats who else is on there bankroll got it um my bro yego who had actually died R.I.P. Yego. Yeah, man. my bro Yego. He got uh, me and Smoke Perk got a song that he produced. Okay, that's on there. Yeah. Who else is on there? Um, the dude named KP Beats. I just started working with him. He's raw. Mm -hmm. He has a few. Like you'll hear our shit's next level shit. That's fire. Um, features crazy shit. Which ones can I talk about? Um, obviously y'all know Vert's on there. Uzi's on there. Skies is on there. Mm -hmm. Um, anything? Anyone new you've been working with? Yeah, there's some that's it's gonna come out soon, so I can say it. Ski Mask, like Ski Mask Slump God is on there. Okay, fire. Chief Keef is on there. Fire. Um, and they're on the same song together. Yeah, that's yeah, hard. I got a song with uh, Ski Mask and Sosa that's on there. That's hard. Called, uh, um, New Bugatti. How, how do you go about? You know, that's an interesting mix of people on the song. Like, what yeah. what made you do that? Um, I just thought it'd be crazy, so I had the song. I made mm. the song. DJ Scheme actually produced it. Okay, so it's actually it's really a crazy mix. It's me, DJ Scheme, Chief Keef, and Ski Mask. Mm -hmm. um, and so Scheme put up on me and yo, I did the song, boom. Then like, my engineer's like, yo, you know, we we'll go crazy on this Sosa. Like, he's like, yo, I, I'm cool with all these people. Like, we can make it happen. I'm like, all right, for sure, boom. Sosa fucks with it. He hops on it, boom. So I had a song for a few months. And mm -hmm. me and Ski have been cool for years. Like, I've been known Ski. Because being from Atlanta, they're close to Florida. So I'm cool with, like, damn near all the Florida people, like, yeah. from jump. So. Um, I'm like, yo, I got this song. Da, da, da. He ended up coming to my house. I got a studio at my house in Atlanta. He come to the house, mm -hmm. put a crazy verse on it. Um, I just thought it'd be crazy to put together like a crazy collab. Like, um, I think Travis is really sick. And like, there's a song he got called like 3500. Legendary. Future and uh, 2 Chains. Yeah, him, Future, 2 Chains. Like, three, like, you wouldn't expect him three to be on a song. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I feel like this is kind of my take on that. You know what I'm saying? Like, me, Ski Mask, and Sosa. Like, want you wouldn't expect it, but it worked. When y'all hear it, it works so mm -hmm. good. Like so good. Nah, yeah, that this song is hard. You showed me some pictures from the video, y'all. Are in for a treat for sure. It's yeah, we just shot tough. the video. That shit's gonna be tough. Um, what what's been the most? You know, you haven't been rapping for that long. What's been the most challenging part 
of rapping for you? Most challenging part? Um, I feel like at first it was people taking me serious because mm-hmm. I kind of came up so quick and out of nowhere because all like the viral shit, you know what I'm saying? It was like, all right, how do I get put in, like, put some respect on my name like I'm not what y'all think you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying so that was kind of some thing but I just had to pull back from the viral shit I was doing you know what I'm saying that shit was fun to me but like uh, these days I'm like yo I'm a, I'm an artist like you gonna respect what the fuck I'm doing you know what I'm yeah. saying so I don't, if you, I don't know if you pay attention to me I don't really, like all the like me going viral and all this and that like all the wild shit like I don't do none of that yeah like, I've noticed your that Instagram shit, that shit out the window yeah. like my image is clean as a motherfucker you know what I'm yeah. saying like that shit's out the window and that shit really just coming in the gate like I'm just like you know what I'm saying? You want motherfucker to look at what the hell you got going on. You know what I'm saying? But once motherfuckers is looking, now it's like, all right, now I can show y'all what I'm really on. You know what I'm saying? So these days, like, Nar Life 2 is a lot different than Nar Life 1. Like, this is what I'm really on. Like, I'm back in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. I'm myself. Like, y'all getting me. Not like nigga trying to get his foot in the door. Like, I got a foot in the door now. So yeah, I'm in gonna, it now, yeah. Y'all gonna see who I am for real. I like that. That's fire, you know? He's that marketing. My nigga Mar. I'm telling you. <laughs> that marketing for sure, man. Um, a lot of artists, the problem is they don't know when to turn it off. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. They don't know when to stop that shit and just like now, no one's gonna take you serious. No, nah, I got, cause I got a big vision for my shit. You know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. I'm not in no rush, but I got a big vision for my shit. Like I see myself like Kanye. If you want me to keep it all the way mm-hmm. above, you know what I'm saying. I do clothes, I do music, and like both on a really high level. You know what I'm saying. So uh, people do gotta definitely take what I'm doing seriously. So that's why I dial back from all the viral shit, all that shit. Like, having fun doing crazy shit is lit. Like, that shit fun as hell. Like, it's mm-hmm. not like smoking a goddamn pound blunt. Like, that shit fun as hell. But, like, you also want <laughs> niggas to really respect your craft. So, like, go crazy. I still do it, but I just might not even throw it on the ground. Like, I'll smoke three ounce blunt, and you won't ever see me do it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? These days. I remember I was there for uh, one of those videos. It was, like, a couple years ago in, like, Studio City with, like, Fat Nick, and then it was funny as fuck. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Just having fun. But, like, <laughs> yeah. at this point, it's like, all right, like, now y'all all seen this. Now I'm going to give y'all what I'm really on. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Grown ass man. Well, speaking of someone that is, you know, coveted and championed and is the one of my favorite artists in rap. Recently, you guys were just in the studio. You and Young Thug. Yeah. Did you guys um, cook King anything Slime. up? And how did you meet the King Slime? I can't even say what happened, but I can definitely tell y'all how we met. Mm-hmm. So I did this freestyle on this, uh, this Drake and Baby beat, like Wants and Needs. I did like uh-huh. this little freestyle on it. And on some crazy shit, I was just, uh, I was doing something and I wasn't by my phone for a minute and I hopped on my phone and I seen like a message from Thug mm-hmm. and I had never spoke to him before, you know what I mean? So I just hopped on my phone, it's like a three hour old message from Thug. Mm-hmm. He's like, bro, you went so crazy. I'm like, what the fuck? And I opened it and he sent me like, the freestyle was like some one of the rap pages like threw it up and mm-hmm. he like sent that post to me and was like, yo, you went so crazy. He DM'd it to you? Yeah, he sent it to me. Yeah. And I was just like, wow, that's crazy. So I was just like, yo, Slime, I'm in the city, you know what I'm saying? I'm living in Atlanta, so I'm like, I'm in the mm-hmm. city if you want to link. And he was like, yeah, I'm here right now. I'm like, You know what I'm saying? We linked up from there. Um, pulled up on him a couple times, a couple different studio sessions and shit, like a couple different days in a row. And bro, cool as hell. Like, yeah, real. I heard like, I, I recently just heard like um, when he's in the studio and stuff, he like likes to like dance and everything like after he done with a song or some yeah. shit he be turning up yeah he be grooving for real like uh-huh. bro be grooving he hard I was one of the sessions he was finishing I'm not really gonna get into all the details but he was finishing one of the really big songs for Slime Language and I was there mm-hmm. that shit was just cool to see you know say so just peeping game like somebody that I've looked up to for that long seeing yeah. them record music how they do it you know what I'm saying That's shit, is, shit is hard who, who do you want to work with like what's your dream collaboration Dream collaboration? Yeah, like who's who's the artist that yo? I know we're gonna make some fire shit together. If we get in the studio. That I haven't yet. Cause yeah, I, I haven't feel like yet. on our life too. I've really worked with like a lot of people that I've worked. Like I can't do the whole track list, but I've worked with a lot of people that I've wanted to work with for a mm-hmm. long time. You know what I'm saying? But um, probably Kanye. I love to work with Kanye. Him producing or just rapping, or the in, him producing and rapping. In any kind of way, to be honest, I just feel like he do so much, like producing, rapping having him like just executive producer where he's telling me I should put this there and this that mm-hmm. like I just I would love to just be in a session with Kanye and you know learn from him yeah even on the clothing front too it's crazy exactly. right cause he just has a, I feel like he worked kind of similar way to me like he has a whole compound like with mm-hmm. the easy shit he has like I seen he has like a warehouse but he got like a studio in there and then on the other side is a design studio and all that shit so it'd be cool just to fuck with bro you know what I mean nah 100% 100% the last project you put out 2020 you and Germ yeah Big Bad Nar. <laughs> yeah. What inspired that? And and um, why 
do you and Germ work? So, why do you think you and Germ work so good together? We've been cool way before music. Mm-hmm. Way before. I met the nigga at Skate Park in Atlanta like 10 years ago, damn near like eight, nine, 10 years ago. Like, you know what I'm saying? We've been cool forever. We've been running together, like, we've been all kind of shit together. Like, and so he was putting out music before I was, so he was already rapping and shit. And my kind of intro into the game was like, we put out a little EP. Like, the first shit I ever put out was like, a EP with Jerm, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? That was like the first shit I ever really put out. And so like, we dropped another little EP at the beginning of 2020 just to give fans like, kind of like, really the fans who was fucking with me from like, SoundCloud damn near, like give them mm-hmm. a little throwback to that, you know what I'm saying? Before I really get into like, this like real project, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I feel that. Yeah, no, nah, you guys have been going crazy since the beginning, man. Yeah. My first video, my first music video ever mm-hmm. is this song called Ride With The Fire. And I was, I was just about to say. Yeah, Germs on that song. That y'all snapped on that. That was when I was like, oh yeah, now nah, they're nah, going crazy. Cause I yeah. only at the time knew you for the clothes, and I yeah. heard that. So I'm like, niggas, I'm like, who that is? Like, like, nigga, that's Nar and Germ. Like, that's why I had to get serious real quick because that video, like, like I ain't had no other videos before that. I ain't had no more music. Like that was my second song I ever put out, and that was my first music video. How many songs did you have recorded at the time when you made that? Maybe a couple, maybe like 10, 20. You know what I'm saying? Like I had, I had a couple songs recorded, but like that was my second song I ever put out mm-hmm. in my first music video. And niggas was fucking with it from there. So yeah, I'm like, that shit was hot. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, all right, I, let me get right real quick. You know what I'm saying? I didn't think it was so. I, I had to adjust to being like, okay, like I'm a whole rapper now. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Niggas is on the street. Like oh, I fuck with this, so I like, like I get right real quick. Yeah, that was the first one. I was like, yo, what the fuck? Was like this nigga, shit, that's fucking crazy, man. Beats hard, everything. Yeah. Um, speaking of songs and everything too. You put out, you've put out, you know, a lot of music and everything. What, what's, what's your favorite song you've put out? Favorite song that I put out, mm, probably one of these last couple singles I put out. I like Missiles, me and Trippy a whole lot. It's mm-hmm. like melodic, but it's hard. I just dropped it maybe like two months ago, something like that. I really like that one. And then Diamond Choker with Uzi, I love that song. I, I love that song even before Uzi got on it because we didn't do it together. I had it recorded already, mm. and he put a verse. So I love that song. So too. you have like a full song, and then you took your a second verse, the second verse off. I didn't even have a second verse, uh, okay. but I had a full song. You know, what I'm saying hook, first verse, hook, and then an open. Okay. So it was already all the way done. So I fought with Diamond Choker and probably Missus. I love both them songs, but I got a bunch of shit on in our life too. That's like just as crazy or crazier. You know what I'm saying? So really, the whole project is my favorite shit. Are you planning on doing uh, you and Cole Bennett maybe working together or anything like that? Yeah, yeah, that's gonna be super tough. We was just talking about doing like uh, some clothing shit too. I was just talking to him maybe like two three days ago about doing like some narcotic either like with linear narcotic lyrical lemonade shit. That'd you know be hard. Cause I feel like like I said like I do so much like I don't even have to be like oh I, we need a song or, oh we need to do a video like I can be like oh let's do some clothes let's do this yeah. like, you can do you have diff- so many different ways to add value to just you know your career in exactly general. like cause I like working with people in any aspect you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying don't just gotta be like like how I said I gotta collab with free bands in the future but I ain't gotta pull up to the studio like oh I need you on a song, song like, yeah. you know what I'm saying like yo let's make some money let's do some cool shit for the culture like yeah. they don't gotta you know what I'm saying that's very far I noticed on your arm you got that snake with the 8 and 24 how big of an impact did Kobe have on you Huge. It's a it's a black mamba. You get it? Yeah, yeah, it's like yeah. A mamba with the with the shit on it. Yeah, I got that when Kobe passed. Um, just crazy. Like growing. The funny thing is, I'm not even the biggest like sports nigga, but like just seeing Kobe like the whole time I was growing up. You look at him like black excellence for real. Like yeah, who doesn't look up to Kobe like a nigga like just doing something to the peak of his ability? Like how can you not look up to that? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, um, see, that shit was just crazy because you don't think like Kobe's like Obama. You know what I'm saying? You don't think Kobe yeah, just going to die. Really shocking, man. You know what I'm saying? That was like, a super shocking death. Because that was top of 2020, wasn't it? Yeah, it was right at the beginning of the pandemic. Yeah, right? the motherfucker just year starting and Kobe died. You're like, bro, what the fuck? Oh, like, God. you think Kobe immortal. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's you think not, Kobe, like, goes on and, like, coaches the Lakers? Finna lead to be at least, like, a buck 30. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, you like, going to be, you know what I'm saying? You don't that think, one, like, that Exactly. Cause I've had, yeah. I think that was what was in everyone's mind. Because you're just like, yo. This guy was supposed to like coach basketball. That like, was the last nigga you thought was just like, yo, wake up in the morning, oh, Kobe dead. Like, what the, hit the whole world. Like, whole world yeah, got was shook fucked by up. that one. My man's, I, my man's, I was sleeping in. I was really sad around that time. Ain't gonna lie. <laughs> yeah. So my man's woke me up at like 12 or some shit. And he's like, yo, Kobe died. I'm like, bro, don't ever wake me up like this again, bro. Like, just worse news. Huh? I was like, what? I went back. I was like, what? I just looked at my phone. I was like, this is, cr-. I got an update and everything. Like, yeah. I was like, how like this nigga was supposed to like 
teach the next generation of basketball, like be a coach, an owner, like. That should make you almost sad on some personal tip. Like, bro, ain't no Kobe at all. That should make you bummed that's out. That's like, fucking. It, you know it did. Saying? It really fucked me, bro. It really fucked me. I ain't gonna lie, man. That was a, that was crazy. My parents are huge basketball fans too. Yeah. Like, a, I was named after Akeem Olajuwon, so it's okay, like basketball okay, is like sure. big in my family and yeah. just life. So it was just like so Kobe, Kobe shit was, was extra major, and especially being out here too. Like, the whole way. city was fucked up. It's just sad times and fucking Corona. Yeah. But R.I.P. the legend, man. Um, I'm definitely gonna go check a Lakers game out. Yeah, there's finally opening everything back out. Yeah, I seen that LA getting back open. That's raw. Yeah, the homie um went to a show, uh, a game uh, um a couple of nights ago. And he's like, just let me know. So I'm gonna finally do that. I've never been, no, I've been to a Nets game like years ago when they were the New Jersey Nets, like when I was like 15. But yeah, I gotta go courtside. What, what they now? It's in New York, Brooklyn. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, we usually do this um to close it out and everything. Um, what's your okay. message for our generation? My message for our generation. Uh, just trust your instincts follow your dreams you know what I'm saying don't let nobody tell you what you're doing is wrong if you feel like it's right and you ain't hurting nobody you know what I'm saying you're feeding your people and you're doing the right thing you know what I'm saying I, nine times out of ten if you trust your instincts you're gonna win like you start second guessing like your first feeling on something is the one you should go with I saw you the uh, that quote in Forbes that you did you just had that article in Forbes yeah the Forbes article that was sick I'm I was honestly honored that they acknowledge what I'm doing because I feel like a lot of people don't really grasp like the full scope of what I'm doing yet. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Building this brand and the music and the culture behind all my shit as a whole. So like that was fire to be acknowledged by them. Yeah, man. Black excellence, man. Telling you. All right, my boy. Peace. For Thank sure. you very much. Thank you. Yeah.